Hope for it. Oh yeah, yeah. There's always hope. <laughs> we always hope. I know people tell me all the time, I've had it for 40 years. Can you exactly. get rid of it? I said, well, I'm going to try unless you don't want me to take it out. A lot of people have attachment to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like emotional that. attachment. They, they don't want to let things go. <laughs> little uh, uh, order, doctor's orders, no cooking, no cleaning, just taking it easy, right? Just take it easy. Right. Now you can see I took, I took all of this down quite a bit. As you can see, there's a little debit in there now, a little bit of... It's kind of painful a little bit. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah. No, big good, that's just a little... Yeah, but... Look how much I took out. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm taking this out and some more, as much as I can do. I don't want to make a bleed, so um, so I'll do more of these. And then you have another one right here. You have another one right there. So this is another round circular thing. So I'm gonna clean that out as well. Oh, that's been there for years. Long time, huh? Years. So we're gonna try to get rid of it, okay? I didn't yeah. think it was gonna help for that. I'm sorry? I didn't think it was any help for it. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's always hope. <laughs> we always hope. I know people tell me all the time, I've had it for 40 years. Can you exactly. get rid of it? I said, well, I'm going to try unless you don't want me to take it out. A lot of people have attachment to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like emotional that. attachment. They, they don't want to let things go. <laughs> right? Because right. you're dying to just take care of this. So I'm just going to clean this out. Um, so this is a, there is a core in here, you can see that right now, and which is what's really painful. Uh, it's like having a little rock sitting inside. Can you imagine walking like that and then wearing a nice shoes and then having a lot of pain because they tend to be a little bit tight and then it's rubbing right on that center area right here. That's the corn right there. So that's called soft corn. So I'm kind of taking that out right now to help him but eventually he's going to need surgery to shave this down so that uh, this doesn't become a problem for him in the future so be a more permanent procedure that he needs to do take about three weeks to improve from the surgery it's a very simple surgery we make a little incision here and then we shave this bone down that side and then on, on this side and that gets rid of the um, that deep corn permanently so we're going to work on that later on but for now until he's ready to get that done we need to get this kind of pared down so that he feels comfortable enough to get back to work and not limping so that's kind of our goal right now so i'm taking all this corns out very gently so that's what we're doing feels pretty good as you can see there a lot came out already you can see all these flakes of the skin. The little thing around it is keeping the hitting so bad. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you put on, like a pad? The little sock like. Oh, really? The little thing you put around there. Looks like you put a lot of miles on since I saw you. No, I haven't. You haven't? Mm -mm. You didn't go dancing? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Looks like this is a dancing callus. Looks like you danced and you pivoted, you were rotating. No. Like I like did. a like a waltz. You None know? of that on it. None of that? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Your foot tells a story, you see. Usually when you pivot a lot, there's a little blood underneath this callus too. That's what makes it even more tender. Um, it seems like I need to have something in the middle of it. Yeah, if they're deep-seated corn, I have to burn it. Then, then it won't come back. So let me let me take a look after I go down a little bit deeper. Then I'll be able to tell what's underneath it. Right now, I'm just cleaning it out. These dark spots are, are like blood. Questions. 
Um, callus is from the pressure, but when you have a blood one like this, usually it's from twisting motion. So when we walk, we're twisting our toes, mm -hmm. pivoting, and then that's what causes bleeding, and then causes that dark spot there. This is really thick, so we need to very carefully get down to it. And then we'll see if she has a, like a deep-seated corn inside. So you haven't done anything unusual? No. Mm -hmm. That one's a little sensitive, huh? It grew so fast. I haven't seen this grow this fast. I thought you went out and partied. Sometime I rubbed the little cap I have on it and no wear it, so maybe that's why it grew so fast. What did you put? The little cap I put on it. Sometime oh. I lose it oh. and no wear it. Like a cap? Yeah. For the callus? Yeah. Oh. Is that is that like a foam thing? Yeah, that little that little I had it on. I didn't see it. Yeah, it must be down there in my shoe. Mm -hmm. Because I had it on my toe. I'm trying to keep it working. Try not This is the one I had the surgery on. Oh, it's from the scar. Yeah, I had the surgery on this toe. Oh. When was that? A while back, huh? 13, 2013. Oh, 2013? You had a little bone underneath it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, now I remember removing that. It could be like scar tissue here. Scar tissue can bring out the thick callus on this case. But I've never seen it this like thick like this though. Usually it's not this thick. Yeah, the last time you did it wasn't that thick. Yeah. So I was wondering if you did something to it. I mean it does get a little callous, but not like this. This could have come from the shoes I'm wearing. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of shoes? Did you change your shoes? I changed shoes twice. No oh, really? And then none of them doing no glue for me. Oh, really? Oh. So I went back to these and went back to the old ones? Yeah, it seemed like those were more comfortable. Yeah. Well, something happened. If you didn't do um, more than usual, then it could be like, like you said, it could be your shoes. Something soft. Uh, Not put too much pressure there. But there's some deep spots in there. You see a couple of spots in there, that. So something like this, I would use some medication to burn up that deep-seated corn. That usually helps quite a bit. So I'll do that. That's better, huh? Seems like it's too flat. Mm -hmm. What's too flat? Seems like it might. My toe sticks up and make it too flat in the middle. Yeah, right here, huh? It's kind of make yeah, it prominent. Too flat. Yeah, yeah. You you had a uh, extra bone underneath here mm -hmm. that we removed, and part of that is a scar tissue from from the surgery, which can cause this because you don't have a lot of padding in here, so it becomes kind of irritated, and then your callus forms to protect your toe. Your body's trying to help you, but it does a little too much sometimes. And so that's what you have. Okay.